When the Archdiocese of Denver invited Capuchins from Kansas to assume the care of Annunciation Parish in Denver 50 years ago this month, that could have been the end of the story, but it wasn't. Instead, seeing the needs of the people here, the Capuchins were convinced not only to stay, but to expand their presence. Not long after arriving, a group of friars began working in Denver's low-income housing projects trying to reduce violence and improve relations between the police and the residents. Over time, they noticed the growing problem of homelessness in the city and responded by becoming the first directors of Samaritan House Shelter. Although the friars no longer manage the shelter, they have kept a continuous presence there since the day it was opened. Later, they began ministering to another group of people that were often overlooked and underserved, the incarcerated, they are still bringing a message of hope and healing as chaplains in the city, county, state, and federal jails and prisons. Eventually, about 20 years ago, the Capuchins, by that time an independent province, expanded out from Denver, the, from the Denver metro area to Colorado Springs. In the face of declining attendance in churches around the country, the Capuchins decided that if the people weren't coming to the church, they would take the church to the people. Thus, they opened the Catholic Center, a tiny chapel in the Citadel Mall, which has now had to expand twice to handle the number of people coming for daily mass and confessions. Besides Annunciation Parish, the Capuchins also accepted the care of several other parishes in Colorado, such as Holy Cross in Thornton, Sacred Heart in Curidars in Denver, and St. Francis in Colorado Springs. In many cases, these parishes were assigned to us because they were undergoing internal turmoil or experiencing financial distress. And it was thought that the Capuchins were best suited to bring peace and stability to these parishes. The thread that runs through all of our activity these past 50 years in Colorado is the desire to identify the needs of the church and society and to respond to those needs. For the most part, we haven't done it with large institutions, but by simply trying to share the lot of the, those we serve. This has always been the approach of the Capuchin Order, and for that reason, we were given the nickname, Brothers of the People.